Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the EISL powered by Coca Cola, where Norman Gaming as your esports partner, PlayStation as your platform partner, Hero as our associate partner and a sponsor, and of course, Terra Virtua as our digital collectibles partner. Now, my name is TA, and joining me on the desk, as usual, is the one and only Azim. So, how are you doing today, Azim? Uh, very good, been a nice uh, weekend, but of course, back to the EISL action. Lots of stuff happening in the Hero ISL. Jamshedpur FC managing uh, to uh, take that shield over there in a very, very uh, exciting last game with ATKMB. But of course, this is the EISL. Let's quickly take you through the tournament format. We've got a very, very big day uh, coming up ahead, and uh, this is just about uh, rounding out the group stages now. And uh, as you can see, of course, this is uh, the uh, well, just the just the the end uh, times of the league stage now, with of course three games per match, uh, two one v ones and one co op. The top four teams will make it to the finals, and we still don't know which those top four teams uh, will be just yet. It's still to be uh, decided, and of course those uh, top two team members battle it out to represent India at uh, FGS 2022. Exactly that it, FGS spot on the line right here. But along with that, a massive prize pool to boot. Lots of money to motivate these players, but as well as a personalized NFT for the MVP of the tournament does mean that for these players, they have, of course, the idea of that FGS, that prestigious spot on the line, but also a huge incentive to perform individually, get that MVP prize and in terms of the money and NFT. Yeah, and of course, uh, we do have a list of the top uh, goal scorers right now, mm -hmm. which is the MVP stakes. Uh, looking pretty good for Ankit Gupta, sitting on 45 goals, very confident, very uh, calm sitting over there. Uh, his uh, teammate uh, is in 4th place. Sagnik is going to be interesting if Bengaluru FC can make it through uh, to the finals. We will find out today or know if they, they're taking a step in the right direction. Imad, of course, uh, will not be uh, making it through to the finals. Northeast United FC have uh, been uh, knocked out, but uh, let's uh, focus on the game uh, for today. Uh, let's have a look at uh, what we have uh, in action, but of course, uh, we'll uh, give you the context of what's uh, at stake with the leaderboard right now. It is Chennai FC going up against Odisha FC. Odisha still playing for the right to potentially uh, go up to as high as uh, even 7th uh, place uh, mm -hmm. if the results uh, all go uh, their way. But uh, it is Chennai FC up against Odisha FC. Chennai still not mathematically guaranteed uh, to get that top four spot, they need one point uh, from this game to do it, or from the last two games to do it. And of course, it does uh, then rely on Bengaluru FC winning all of their matches, and they are also in action today. Uh, so all the top four contenders actually in uh, in action today. Let's take a look at the lineup for today's matches. Yeah, like you said, all the top four contenders playing it out. But starting us off is going to be one of them, of course, in the uh, in a key slot. It almost. Definitely secure it unless Shubambam, Tam Tam, and Bugal are able to cause some upsets right here and take down Chennai in FC. And I think we've seen that from all of these teams that have maybe lost the ability to qualify for top four. They've put themselves now into a position where they're feeling very comfortable. They're playing their natural game and inherently are becoming much bigger of a threat than they necessarily were throughout the initial league stages. Yeah, definitely. And uh, if we look at the head-to-head, -head, obviously Chennai and FC, uh, vastly the superior team across the tournament. A uh, lot, lot more goals scored, of course, a lot more uh, matches won. But, uh, and uh, let's have a look at what happened the last time these uh, two teams met. I do believe it was a good result for uh, Odisha FC the last time. So, it's not going to be plain sailing for Chennai and FC, who uh, didn't manage to win a single game the last time out. So, the pressure is definitely on. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Chennai and FC are definitely going to be remembering that they were not able to secure this in the back the last time around. And knowing how important it is this time around, they're going to want to rectify that ASAP. But for now, I'm sure their minds are on one simple fact. Even if they get a point, Azim, it puts them in a relatively comfortable position to try and ensure that this uh, series goes in, sorry, this later, latter uh, stage of the league stage goes through comfortably for them and then they can focus on the playoffs because I think for every single team at this point that is already in the top four, the league stages are more of a case is let's get this done quick, let's shift our focus onto that playoff stage. And of course, we do know that Shubham, a very, very close friend of uh, V Sharma mm -hmm. from FC Goa, who would potentially be relying on Odisha FC to uh, make life a little bit more difficult for the for the teams around them, give them 
that little bit of potential margin for error as well because they have very very little margin for error they really do need to uh, win both the matches and of course they are up against uh, mumbai city fc in our next game today so it's going to be an absolutely lip smacking set of features we do have bengaluru fc versus hyderabad fc coming up as well and uh, shobham a player who uh, is hard to beat uh, but uh, hasn't scored a lot of goals hasn't quite played his natural game for most of the tournament but now when the pressure is off and he could be that uh, party pooper maybe he could start to come into his own as uh, we're ready to kick off yeah and i think uh, i was talking to shobham recently for him uh, was only able to attend a couple of lands before of course uh, corona struck in and for him EISL was relatively a new experience because of that had to get accustomed to the land had to get accustomed to the role of being a leader within his team where of course Dogal was not able to find his run of form early into the matchup but i think now without any of that pressure he's going to be feeling a lot more comfortable and it looks like we are seeing a couple of technical issues so the lobby has to be rehosted uh, well that will that will happen uh, pretty quickly and uh, yeah <laughs> let's see looks like maybe some kind of a controller glitch or maybe the team selection not done properly i guess we'll we'll uh, find out soon enough odisha fc in their away jersey today which uh, well as nice as it is the, i don't think anything uh, any jersey in the in the eisl or the hero isl can match up to that lovely wakanda forever themed uh, oh, yeah. jersey that uh, odisha fc have i do have the the chennai and fc jersey with me and despite my my subtle hints no other teams have sent me jerseys so guys i'm very very disappointed <laughs> there's still time until 18th of march you can still have them sent across just saying no pressure but plus uh, one. well yeah plus <laughs> one but uh, not no pressure for chennai and fc they they are all laughing and smiling but uh, you know if they somehow uh, lose this game uh, then that really mounts that pressure going into that final game uh, for them and uh, it's not going to be an easy one if i just have a look at my uh, my fixture list we'll come to know who they're playing and uh, i do recall that it wasn't an easy fixture for them so they want to get this job done today i'm sure because their last fixture is as i go through my sheet it's northeast united fc so they're not going to make it easy for them uh, at all so yeah need to get that with that one point and get the job done today Yeah, and at this point, I think Kazim, it really does come down to whether Shubham is able to deliver for one of his closest friends. As you said, we're going to be seeing FC go in action as well, playing off against one of the top contenders for the title itself, uh, a team that is continuously pushed forward. But right now, the story, the narrative—it's all about these Chennai boys, and we'll have to see if they can really find the consistency that I feel like has defined their gameplay throughout the EISL so far. There's been ups and downs, but. Usually, Naveen and Saranj together have become a formidable force to reckon with. A force that where you're scared of both of the players. It's not the case where one of the players has really stepped up to the mark. And I think that's the distinction that we are starting to notice between our top four teams and everybody else. Where in our top yeah. four teams, both of the players look extremely scary. Yeah, absolutely. And I think uh, yeah, you could probably say even up to the top five, we still have, of course, uh, Bengaluru FC in that fight, and you don't want to go up against. Uh, either uh, sagnik or varsi uh, in the in the form that they've uh, shown unfortunately those couple of big games that they needed to get the result uh, didn't quite go their way it could have been even more uncomfortable for those uh, the stop those second to fourth uh, teams are uh, sitting there right now but uh, on the match right now uh, chennai fc ooh looked like oh. a good ball played in there by navin but uh, eventually uh, a boils down to nothing and uh, shubham gets his first taste of the action it's taken him about 6 minutes to get his uh, first touch of the ball but i think that's a that's a hallmark of how navin likes to play both yeah. him and saraj like to hold on to that possession as much as possible and more so against shubham where he himself has has actually complained that uh, all the players against me just keep hogging the ball they don't want me to have it and uh, maybe just testament to the fact of how good a player he is that they don't yeah. want him to uh, to have that ball at all Exactly right because I think they know. Oh my God! I was just about to say they know that he's not one to cheaply give it away, but he does so exactly. <laughs> Even I'm saying that, so I guess the pre cost the curse already apply. But either way, I do 100% agree with that point. Being that uh, for Shubham in general, the idea seems to be to always play that standard vein of football. Being a IRL football fan himself, a diehard football fan, you can very much see that macro sense in his gameplay. But right now it is Naveen setting it up, and an easy push in gets that early goal for Chennai FC. Makes it look like a piece of cake, Azim. 
yeah made it look very very easy over there and again you can see not uh, really celebrating shubham of course uh, known to be the kind of guy who comes back from one or two goals down typically late in the game uh, most of his games i think have followed that pattern of him being down at half time and then somehow going ultra attacking and clawing it back in that second half and that's what he will be looking for as well uh, he did in the last time against saranch as well i think uh, it was a similar circumstance went down early uh, and had to claw his way back and get that draw but uh, for chennai fc it will weigh on their minds just that little bit that they have not managed to win any of their matches against uh, odisha fc so far in the eisl and uh, something uh, a little bit of a psychological advantage you could say mm -hmm. as uh, shubham comes forward you can see a very very high line also very very narrow defense uh, so clearly trying to counter the narrow formation that shubham is playing and maybe i think he'll need to switch it up maybe go to a 4231 wide or a 424 formation to uh, force navin to change the way he's defending yeah exactly because in the midfield right now shubham able to barely find any space but he still creates some for himself but again that heavy defensive pres presence in the midfield that navin has is really helping him out not giving shubham many holes to work with but shubham just moving the ball around trying to find the space does exactly that with mm. ronaldo seven in the box in i thought that was a penalty but clearly not the defender seems to have got a touch of the ball yeah must have been the slightest touch on the ball and now navin wasting no time getting on that counter attack and that's really what you're going to need to do against shubham because he's going to dominate that ball as much as he can when you give it to him invariably he's going to create at least a chance uh, or at least even a half chance and now had the opportunity to maybe play that ball in uh, to cr7 early decided not to do so and uh, pele now getting that ball in couldn't get the turn again over there and uh, you have to say shubham looking uh, like he's uh, he has the goal in him he's, he's creating those those half chances those middle opportunities and uh, navin will have to capitalize on these counter attacks because it seems that shubham is capable of getting at least that one goal yeah most definitely capable but the question becomes can he be clinical and make it put it in the back of the net cuz navin right now he's got the lead he's got the comfort and he's got the cushion to rely on for the rest of this match shubham who's going to have to push back for now it is navin with the ball uh, moving his way forward persevering in hope for a chance and i think one thing very important to note about navin's play style is while he does like this slow tempo likes to build it up when he goes for the push he's just instantaneous like a trigger gets flipped and he's able to get his way in just very similar to the first goal i think we're going to see need to see something similar from shubham slow build up in the midfield but towards the end he needs to attack quickly and he gets exactly that but oh. a fluff on the finish from pele ay 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 Well, he's still still got the ball back now with Mbappe and Shubham is turning the screw right now. I think when the ball landed to Pele, he was going for that chip finish, yeah. but of course, when that ball is uh, is coming down to get that chip and get it right, is of course very very difficult. Might have been a better option to even just go for the the volleyed finish even, uh, or just take a touch and try to uh, try to sit down the keeper and go around him because uh, that was a very low percentage chance. But uh, Shubham, of course, backing his ability, backing the abilities of those. Uh, supreme cards that uh, these players of course have the luxury of uh, of using all the the icons and the team of the year cards and speaking of that it's two icons combining it's r9 almost getting the shot away shubham survives that attack and he'll be on the counter again Now look at this shubham trying to make his way in and as you said as you it has to be these micro combination has to be just outplay in that final third to try and make it happen either outplay in terms of the macro sense where you're able to expect the right turn from the defender or you're able to expect the right uh, moment for committing to the tackle or it has to be an outplay in the micro sense where you just nail say a relay to perfection get yourselves in and so far it has been navin able to make it happen but a very close match nonetheless so it's got me on the edge of my seat so far but i'd like to see a few more goals really amp up the pace and the tempo of the game inherently because of that because at this stage where we're towards the end i want to see shubham starting to free up and do a lot more things that he might not have done in the initial stages yeah definitely and i do think maybe he might try a change in formation the narrow formation of course is a little bit prohibitive in terms of what you can do but will he have the opportunity no it does look like it is navin taking advantage getting a firm grip on this tie over here it is 2-0 a potential terror virtual super moment of the match right there big big blow for navin over there getting that two goal cushion just before half time and now 
Shubham has to go all guns blazing and he will be super, super exposed on the counter attack. Yeah, absolutely. Naveen starting to look uh, quite commanding in the way he's able to get his victory. It's not dominating, I'd say, because Shubham is still creating chances. He still has a fair share of the ball. But Naveen is just ruthless. Every time he's able to create a simple enough chance like that, he finds so much space in the box against a formation where he'd expect to not really be able to do it because of the way the midfield is structured for Shubham. But Naveen doing it with relative ease speaks to you about the strength of this Chennai FC team. They faced trouble in their previous matchup against Odisha FC. But right now, making short work of Shubham is Naveen and potentially short work of Odisha FC if Chennai get a free win going into this matchup for Saranj into that next game. Absolutely. And uh, well, Dungal is going to uh, have his work cut out against Saranj. He did manage to get the win against Naveen in the last time out. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, he's going to have to be at the top of his game to get something over there. You can see a lovely little chip over there, just spotting that pass at the last moment. Shubham completely sort of almost oblivious to the fact that uh, that uh, CR7 was making his way across with that lovely little dig. And uh, do we see now a change in formation from Shubham? Let's see what the radar looks like. Yes, it does look like there is a wide player now. CR7 has gone to that right flank uh, and... Uh, or has he? Let's uh, let's wait for the radar to sort of uh, rearrange itself. But it does look like there is a little bit more width on offer, and that's uh, what uh, Shubham is going to need uh, right now to, uh, to break down the stubborn defence that uh, Naveen has been putting out and case in point right there. Absolutely, and that stubborn defence is testament to the fact of how important this matchup is for Chennai NFC. Uh, getting this win more or less secures their spot in the top four, but also puts them in a better position seeding wise to try and get a favorable matchup in that playoff stage. So, right now, I think, of course, all teams are wary of SEs Bengal. They have looked the best team so far across the EISL, but I think we've seen this across many an esports title where things radically change when it comes to playoffs, and that's what the others will be relying on. And taking that right run of form, and Naveen trying to do exactly that. Playing around with the defender's speed, still the ball with Ronaldo, gets it in for Mbappe who flies in to the air and, and nails it in for a 3-0 lead. But that move from R7 is him, just absolutely exquisite from the game. Oh yeah, he worked that brilliantly and a little uh, dink cross in there, just standing it up and then getting Mbappe over there who beats, uh, was it Bellingham in the air? I think it was Marquinhos who probably have won that header. But uh, there you go, seeing uh, potentially why uh, you have uh, well, you have the likes of uh, Angolo Kante in there uh, for their defensive attributes. A lot, a lot of people have used Jorginho there as well. But now at 3 0, uh, clearly, whatever V Sharma offered uh, Shubham as a reward for winning this game, uh, not quite good enough. The burgers and the pizza is not yeah. quite cutting it for Shubham right here because uh, he's been absolutely uh, well. It's just about Naveen being clinical. He's created exactly. three chances and he scored three goals. Uh, you could say that uh, Shubham has dominated most of this game and now has the opportunity but can't get that shot away. Again, the touch too heavy, the time finish all wrong. And even if he had got a goal back there, I would still have said that Odisha FC had a chance. But now, with the clock ticking by, it's getting more and more unlikely. But uh, Naveen deciding to give him a little opportunity here. Yeah, with Czech picking up the ball, it certainly feels like a checkmate right now for <laughs> Odisha FC. But we'll have to see. We'll have to see because we've seen bigger comebacks, not against Chennai NFC, I'll say, against teams that do have a bit, had at least a bit more of a leaky defence. But Naveen currently just looks composed. He looks cool as a cucumber, very, very calm in his approach to the game. Even in that defensive approach, brilliant pressure applied by the defender while at the same time getting his keeper forward to collect the ball just... Uh, combining very well both in attack and defence. And of course, in the midfield, we've already talked about how his formation gives him an inherent edge and plays against what Shubham wants him to do. But Shubham right now, with a couple of changes, he's brought in Neymar, one Brazilian legend on for another. We'll have to see if Neymar is able to make something happen. Oh. Oh. Oh, and a little assist provided almost by Hullet over there, but uh, didn't quite... Uh... Work out, and it's just in those final areas the that that instinctive finishing that uh, that Naveen has shown us. Uh, it's just not quite been there for Shubham. He's going to find the ball in now to Mbappe. He's got CR7 in the box, exactly where you want him. Not the person you wanted on the header, unfortunately. In Messi over there, uh, you usually want Messi on that uh, long shot at the edge of the area. He wants the, the headers to all fall to, to CR7. But uh, now it is. Uh, 
Could it be completely lights out with this attack from Naveen getting inside? You can see he's toying with the defense over there. He's had, he's really given Hakimi at that right back position a complete run around with CR7 uh, throughout this game. And what a ball that is! Oh my goodness, that is absolutely beautiful from Naveen. What a wonderful goal! And gets that fourth goal. That is outstanding stuff. Yeah, outstanding is the exact word I would use too because. Boy, oh boy, at this point, uh, I really do feel like Naveen is on another level today. He's come with a mission, a man on a mission really, as he looks to comfortably secure Chennai NFC spot in the top four and maybe even open up some hopes of a challenge on, uh, if not the top one, at least guarantee that top two spot in their fight against Mumbai City FC. But at this point, uh, what is really key for Shubham is to try and end off on a good note in this matchup itself. You can see he's getting quite frustrated while giving the ball away cheaply and eh, that's not what we want to see because I think for all of these teams and players who can't make it in the top four, it's all about ending the EISL journey on a good note. Yeah, absolutely. And of course, Odisha FC, they still do have two more games to play after this. So, uh, still uh, potential for them to play for that, uh, that sixth or seventh spot. Uh, but now, Trying to get, and you can see the confidence is just forcing through Naveen's uh, play right now. He's willing to try out absolutely everything. This time Shubham gets in, but again, the, the positioning on defense, the switching absolutely on point, and it's been very, very impressive. It was, uh, I don't think he's ever looked out of control. There was a, maybe a small period in the game for about 20 25 in game minutes where Shubham looked like he was the player more likely to score, but uh, part particularly since that second goal. I think uh, Naveen has really, really taken control of this tie. I think Shubham's head would have dropped just before halftime. You can see that goal and it's really reflected now in the pure, sheer dominance we've seen uh, in the second half from uh, from Naveen, the man from Chennai. Of course, getting that job done and now it is Neymar in the touch too heavy again for Shubham. It's just not happening for him and uh, it does look like uh, Naveen could potentially get one more. Yeah, at this point, Naveen will most likely just uh, try to boost his stats for that MVP slot and does exactly that. Slams it into the top left corner with Ronaldo. A 5-0 dominating victory for Naveen and Chennai NFC. It seems like could easily be more. Oh yeah, for sure. And uh, you can see <laughs> Shubham trying to sort of uh, pull the double bluff by moving Van der Sar to the far post, but Naveen so composed, taking his time, waiting for the keeper to move, almost like a, a Jorginho penalty, uh, you could say. Just wait for the keeper to commit and then put it in the opposite direction. Uh, very, very a short display from Naveen, clinical, ruthless, whatever you want to call it. He's been absolutely on fire and a great time to start finding your top form. We did see him in incredible form at the start of the season. It did dip a little bit through the middle, but he's closing this out with a really, really impressive individual display. And bodes well for uh, the finals if in, if, in do, if indeed they do make it because all it needs now is for uh, is for Saranj to just get a draw against Dukal and uh, the top four is confirmed for them. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Shubham right now trying to get a consolation goal, but just too many bodies in the box by Naveen just composed in his defensive stature, able to get it back and now set himself up on the counter. Has Ronaldo making a forward run, but unfortunately not able to get the ball away on time. He's just going to instead. Uh, rotate it on towards the wing and get all of his attackers forward. Now, what we've seen from Naveen again and again is control in the midfield translated into a quick ball in to sp split the oh. defence apart, but oh, this time oh. just exquisite skill from Eusebio. Roulet nailed to perfection, but the shot not able to come through. Instead, he gets a corner. And, well, Van der Sar will collect that. It's a brilliant performance, a brilliant win from Naveen gets his job done in absolute style 5 nil and could well have been more could even have been six or seven but uh, just showing that ruthlessness that you need uh, to be a top player to be that uh, potential eisl champion and uh, yeah you can see almost no emotion on his face he enjoyed that and i'm sure his teammate enjoyed watching that that was that was really something special yeah absolutely and at this point uh Something special against Saranj, one of the best players in our entire EISL. Looks extremely difficult and extremely unlikely, but but I think Tugal most definitely has the 
capability to make it happen. So we'll see if he's able to do that or if a comfortable 2-0 uh, set win for Chennai NFC, it does result. But this is what I'm talking about. It's just slow build up in the midfield, but he has the vision of a true center attacking midfielder, Naveen, where he's able to spot out these runs, these passes into the final third with such ease and get his attackers into such a great spot to find the finish. Yeah, absolutely. And there you could see Shivam making a few wrong decisions in that final third particularly. Got into good positions, uh, particularly in that uh, in that first half. But it just uh, wasn't quite happening for him uh, with that final finish. And there you can see, conversely, Naveen, the efficiency that he showed. Two chances, two goals and then after that it was just an absolute rampage. Yeah, absolutely. And at this point, uh, rampage is what everyone expects from Saransh as well, so things definitely looking dire for Odisha FC, uh, their hunt for a good end to the season, hunt for a potential 7th spot looking extremely unlikely, especially with Naveen playing around with them the way he did in this matchup. Uh, what is absolutely key, again, is just simple fact that they have their best time while playing it. Uh, the days are numbered, we're approaching our finals, the playoff stage very, very soon. So towards these end of league stages, finding the best fun really you can in your form when playing these matchups can be extremely helpful to your journey moving forward from the EISL as well. Either way, though, we'll have to see yeah. if Dugal is actually able to make something happen. Yeah, I really, really enjoyed that uh, that fourth goal, the little through ball, and also not just going for the meta finish, going for almost like you know a real football finish. That's yeah. how you would finish in real life, and. I think that's how we've, uh, at least for me, that's the finish that I would usually do up until pretty much uh, FIFA 21 uh, before the sort of goalkeeping and finishing dynamics uh, changed quite a bit. And uh, nice to see a throwback to, to the good old days where you just, uh, well, don't just uh, use what works for the game, but you also work uh, use what works in, in real life football. And you can see over there that XG of 4.0, getting five goals in there. And Shubham, just those two shots early in the in the second half, never really got into the game after going two goals down. And uh, you can see the absolute dominance uh, that uh, that Naveen showed over there to get that five nil and uh, potentially get one foot into the uh, into those uh, final spots. Was that point? The other foot, it's going to be down to Saranj, and of course. Uh, today, I'm think I'm thinking that of course, if Mumbai City FC do drop the ball against FC Goa. It'll be that much more helpful for Chennai and FC because that's two teams right below them in potential contention of uh, disrupting their momentum. Who could drop points? So, Chennai and FC, by getting the win right here, they flip the pressure onto those specific teams and really raise the stakes of that matchup so, so much more. Either way, right now, is that's not what we're going to see. We're going to be seeing Saranj and Dugal in action and Hopefully, Dugal is able to find a win because as a neutral observer, I want to see something in line for the co-op. Even a draw so that Odisha FC can try to at least play for a point in the co-op would be pretty cool. Yeah, we do have Naveen uh, waiting to have a chat with us. So, let's uh, head right over there. Naveen, uh, congrats on a win. Very, very dominant display. I think one of your best performances so far in terms of the, the chances created, the finishing, the quality of the goals. So, how, how do you feel after that? Yeah, like uh, I think I played really well, but to be honest, uh, Shubham was like I, I've played a lot of times with him. He was like not this. He, our matches will be very close, like one 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 two two. That that's all. Today I felt this game was a bit laggy, or I don't know this delay delay. I felt so I knew that I can capitalize on that, and I was like playing my game the best game I could. So that's it. Yeah, you looked very calm, I'm sure, of course, Shubham, potentially with an off day, but you specifically look very calm, both in your attack as well as your defense. So, I wanted to ask, we're nearing the end of the league stages of the EISL. How are you coping with the pressure of playoffs are going to come, you have to secure your top four slot. How is all of that going for you? This is when we don't have pressure much now because uh, we are like 80% like secured the top four. So we just need a point from this game. So that's why we are not playing without any pressure. And you can see me smiling at Saranj too. So so it was we didn't even feel any pressure before the game. And usually that was the problem I felt. So this is better for us now. Well, yeah, well, let's hope that you guys can still uh, keep playing that way. Saranj himself has said that he still uh, he still hasn't shown us his best form. So, maybe we'll uh, get to see that up against Dugal. So, we're looking forward to that. And congrats on your win and all the best. Thank you. Thank you. 
I have a sneaky feeling that we're not going to see the best of Saranj till it gets to crunch time, really, you know, in the mm -hmm. playoffs, maybe even in the last game when he needs to clutch it out for his team. That's what I think a player like a seasoned professional like Saranj will really peak because that's where with so much on the line, he's won it before in m as many prestigious tournaments. So I'm sure in this prestigious tournament that is the EISL, he's going to want to do it again in that crunch time. Yeah, I mean, it's no coincidence that he's gone and won pretty much all the big tournaments that are in, in Southeast Asia, in Europe as well. So this is a guy who, obviously, over a long tournament, you have to realize, and I'm sure he said that as well at some point, that it, it's it's a marathon, it's not a sprint. Sometimes you just need to do enough to, to get over the line. And then, really, when that, that final, that home stretch comes in, that's when you just put all your, all your power and everything you have available into those uh, moments. But uh, listen, it's uh, still not done. Uh, Dukal okay. could completely throw a spanner into those works uh, if he uh, gets the win against Saranj and then it would be absolutely everything to play for. I'm sure or everyone in FC Goa and Bengaluru FC and, uh, and uh, Mumbai City FC is rooting for uh, Odisha FC right now. So it will be interesting to see how it plays out. 100%. And it's going to get really interesting really quickly if Dogal is able to find the win here against Saranj of all people. Because going into the co-op, we know what happened last time around. They were able to get a draw. And even though, like Naveen said, all they need is a point in this series to secure it. If they actually end up dropping those all three points, they don't are not able to secure that point right here and secure their spot. Suddenly, the pressure will be much, much larger going into those final few matches. And uh, therefore, it might result in a slippery situation where it just goes away from their hands entirely and that's something Saranj himself will want to avoid so we'll see how that experience comes into play how he's able to make it happen yeah well in the meanwhile we do have a little uh, shout out video from the Odisha FC uh, hero ISL players uh, to support uh, the boys over here so let's uh, quickly take a look at that hi I'm Anand Shubham uh, we both are doing an amazing job in the ISL and scoring some beautiful goals wish you good luck for the upcoming ISL games Let's go. I'm a team, I'm a game. Well, that's a pretty sweet gesture from the Hero ISL uh, players. Well, uh, I think uh, they can sort of uh, relate on both levels because unfortunately for Disha FC, haven't made the top four in the EISL or the Hero ISL. But of course, it's a, it's a long journey for all these players. I'm sure we're going to see them. Uh, challenging for the for those top four spots in the seasons to come. Uh, but for now, we're just uh, building up. Of course, uh, before uh, a Saranj game, we always have a little bit of a delay. I think Saranj has uh, very specific technical requirements. The you know the the screen must be tilted at exactly seven degrees, uh, and the controller must be uh, cleaned with a wet wipe from Japan. I don't I don't know, but uh, anyway. <laughs> We, we're going to find out a little bit more. We do have a new FIFA Finesse uh, video for you all. And this time it's Shubham taking you through some of his tips. Hey everyone, my name is Shubham Jadav and I play for Odisha FC, the Juggernauts in the EISL. Today, I'm going to share the most important aspect of my game, that is the art of defense. One of the main reasons why I've considered the least amount of goals in the league is because by having a great textbook defense. So, today I'm going to tell you all the tips in front of you. And if you have worked on that tips, then your defense will improve in next game. Mein improve ho Welcome to the art of defense. This is chapter number one, hai, the sliding tackle. Sliding tackle is such a thing that you can use a wrong box, then you'll get a red card. In that way, if you use a wrong box, then you'll get a red card plus opposition team ko penalty. So, come to me, I'll tell you how to use it in the right way. So now I'll show you guys how to execute this in-game. So basically, the opponent is dribbling. Now all I have to do is go and press the box or the square button. And here we go. We have got the ball again. And here we can score with it. Simple as that. So here is one more example of how to execute the slide tackle. Here we go. We got the ball again by pressing the box or the square button. And we are through. So the second chapter is the standing tackle. Standing tackle is such a thing that you can use very commonly in the game. And for me, the most important aspect of the game is all pros and casual players use it. Let me show you. So this is the in-game mode. This is coming and I will hit the O button. I will try to hit the O button. This is the standing tackle. This is the standing tackle. I took the ball and here we go on counter. Let's take another situation in which the opponent is running away. तो अपने हमें भी R2 बटन दबाते हुए, O बटन दबाते हुए, standing tackle लेते हुए, 
और काउंटर पे जाना दिस इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट पर्सनली फॉर मी इन माई गेम सो द थर्ड पॉइंट इज कंटेन कंटेन इज बेसिकली अ थिंग वेर यू यू डोंट हैव टू प्रेशराइज योर ओपोनेंट इंस्टेड यू जस्ट हैव टू क्लोज इज पासिंग लेन जस्ट लाइक दिस एंड देन गेट द बॉल फ्रॉम हेम यो वी गो एल गिव यू अनदर एग्जाम्पल यो वी गो इज कमिंग अगेन आई एम जस्ट होल्डिंग हेम एंड यो वी गो यू गॉट द बॉल अगेन सो द फर्स्ट फॉर्मेशन इज फोर टू थ्री वन नैरो ऐसा रहता है ये फॉर्मेशन इसमें स्ट्राइकर बैलेंस रहता है और तीनों कैंप कम बैक ऑन डिफेंस पे रहते हैं तो so, इसका ये मतलब है कि यहाँ पे टीम आपकी पूरी एक साथ अटैक भी करेगी और एक साथ डिफेंस भी करेगी सो so, ये पूरा प्रॉपर बैलेंस रहता है इट हेल्प्स यू इन एवरी एस्पेक्ट एंड द सेकेंड फॉर्मेशन इज फोर फोर टू सेकेंड वेरिएशन ये मैं तब यूज़ करता हूँ जब मेरे पास लीड रहती है और मेरे को वो लीड होल्ड करनी है क्योंकि यहाँ पे जो दो सी डी एम्स हैं वो हमेशा डिफेंस को हेल्प करते हैं सो so, ये बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर्मेशन है लीड होल्ड करने के लिए और मैं गारंटी रहता हूँ इसे आप यूज़ करोगे लीड पे तो आप होल्ड कर लोगे सो नाउ आई विल शो यू गाइज माई फेवरेट स्किल मूव विच आई यूज इन मोस्ट ऑफ द गेम्स इन द ई आई एस एल फर्स्ट आई डू इज अ रूले देन आई डू अ फेक स्टॉप देन अ लिटिल रिवर्स इलास्टिक हो टू फिनिश इट ऑफ कम आई शो यू गाइज हाउ टू डू इट सो टू डू अ रूले ऑल यू टू डू इज होल्ड अ राइट स्टिक एंड मूव इट थ्री सिक्सटी डिग्री देन For the fake stop, you have to press L1, box X, so that he will do a fake stop, and then you have to move your right stick again 180 degree to do a reverse elastico, and then just press shoot. So I'll show you guys one more time. All you have to do is a rule, fake stop, elastico, and bam. Defense is always crucial, no matter how big of a lead you have. अगर आपका defense काफी weak है, तो it's very likely to that you let the game go out of your hand. So मेरे points use करे और अपना game improve करे. अगर आपको ये वीडियो पसंद आए तो इसे लाइक और कमेंट करें एंड ऑल्सो डोंट फॉरगेट टू वॉच ई आई एस एल लाइव ऑन नॉर्वेन गेमिंग फेसबुक पेज एंड दर यूट्यूब चैनल लॉट ऑफ निफ्टी ट्रिक्स एंड ट्रिप्स गिवन बाय शुभम राइट देर ऑफ कोर्स He had an off day today. Wasn't able to work out for him, but he'll be hoping that his teammate can use some of those to make it happen. Because you can see, in terms of skill, inherently they're very, very close. Twenty-one ten for Saranj, twenty-one hundred for Dugal. It really does come down to that experience edge that uh, Saranj has in his back. Yeah, absolutely. And Dugal, well, you could say he's uh, experienced, having played the game for slight. I mean, for few years uh, longer than Saranj, of course, four years older is uh, Dugal. and of course we have been chatting with him uh, he is uh, soon going to be starting his uh, streaming career so you uh, will definitely want to check out uh, dugal uh, tv i believe that's what it's going to be on uh, on twitch and uh, yeah he's uh, pretty much uh, ready to go wearing a nice little uh, jacket looking very fashionable on top of that uh, odisha fc jersey but uh, all the laughs all the smiles are happening but you know what if uh, if dugal does manage to get the win here uh, i don't think chennai fc are going to be smiling much Oh yeah! <laughs> If Dukal is able to secure the win right here, we will remind everyone that anything can happen in the EISL, especially against someone like Sharan. If he's able to make it happen, but it's easier said than done. It's going to come down to that early momentum, early boost. Finding that first goal for either player is absolutely key. And right now, Sharan is the one who is looking to make it happen, moving aggressively into the box. Rune set up as Rune is CBO. You... on his left but the ball not able to be released was cleared out but not for long as ucb is now once again come in it's marquinhos coming up huge to help dugal secure it but again not able to clear it out as he just keeps giving it on back to saranj yeah saranj is totally in the mood over here he wants to get this result uh, taken care of and in the bag and you can see just how hard he is working dugal over there couldn't quite get that shot away now dugal can he land a sucker punch on that counter attack after soaking up that pressure for 7 minutes again gives that ball up though can't quite uh, make it stick and he must be absolutely well rocking there in his uh, in his chair wondering what he's been hit with in these opening few minutes of the game can't seem to get control of that ball now this time does find cancelo and again gives it away so it's just not happening for dugal really i think i would just take a pause right now and just uh, get my uh, you know just get take a breath then and, and get back into the game but uh, yeah i think he just needs to slow it down a little bit saranch is being very aggressive 
uh, on that uh, on that uh, pressing on the counter press, particularly when he loses possession. And I think Dugal uh, would be best served. Oh, he's got a massive opening over here. Oh. Gets Mbappe in, and I do wonder should he have just kept running with Ronaldo there? Ah, uh, but he's got one more chance. Maybe he can find redemption right here. But the oh. fake runs into Ruben Diaz, and the chance is shut down. I do agree, Azim. I think could have just kept running and maybe even got a penalty because of that because you saw Czech getting very, very aggressive. But yeah, in, in that keeper itself, you can see um, the changes that Chennai and FC prefer. They run the same team, uh, Saranj and Naveen, most, uh, like, in most regards. It's just the play style difference that is slightly there where Saranj seems a lot more fluid, Naveen seems a lot more direct and that's where I think Dugal is going to have to try and adapt and Shut him down, keep soaking up the pressure and find the chances and this time soaks up yet another chance. You see, we are shooting it straight at the keeper, not rootless on the finishing the way we expected from Saranj. Yeah, but could be in over here. This time wins the header or does he know Van der Sar? Oh my goodness, just bodies, limbs flying everywhere. Uh, and now uh, another good counter-attack opportunity for Dugal. You know what, if he manages to get a goal on the counter over here, which he just might because he's played an excellent ball into Pele, does he have a CR7 at the back post. Does he need him? He oh. does not. He finds the goal and it is Odisha FC throwing a spanner into that top four battle. Oh yeah. And you can see Saranj left scratching his head. He's wondering what's gone wrong. All of that pressure he created, all of the chances he created, all for naught as Dugal absorbs it like a piece and hits him back strong. 1-0 lead taken right now for Dugal and Odisha FC. And Something that I think every neutral fan was hoping for is this pressure created. Dugal looking absolutely carefree, playing his natural game and currently oh. getting that lead as well as maybe oh even God. a second immediately. Oh Dugal, my God! Oh my, God. Oh. Oh. oh my goodness! You know what Dugal reminds me of right now? First of all, that is a definite terror virtual super moment of the match right here. We know in, in RPG video games, there are those uh, characters who absorb all the damage on the shield and then oh, suddenly okay. hit you with a giant punch with all the damage that you put on them. That's exactly what Dugal has done over here. It's a two-goal lead after being absolutely under the cosh for those opening 10 minutes. Don't go anywhere, folks. This is not over yet and I'm quite sure that FC Goa and, uh, and Mumbai City FC and particularly Bengaluru FC are licking their lips uh, in anticipation to see what's going to happen next because Dukkal is absolutely on fire. He might get a third, you know. Yeah, at this rate, he certainly looks like he might dominate. Saranj the same way Naveen dominated Shubham in that first match, but still quite early into the match. If Saranj is able to get a goal back, it will set us up for a spicy affair. And Saranj going for the direct shot in as Dukkal's defense gets quite ambitious. <laughs> the clearance trying to get oh. it back for a bit of a fumble it's okay will not mean much he is able to recover it and once again just slow things down as he looks to hold on to this lead for dear life but that doesn't mean he's gonna necessarily stop attacking i think Dugal realizing that right now the ball is in his court and he's got to maximize the value out of it milk it for all he's got yeah, and he's doing a very good job getting away from those uh, tackles a bit of uh, unnecessarily desperate pass there from bellingham but wait it's CR7 at the back was who's offside. I, think I don't Bellingham think he needed offside. to make that. Yeah, well, he's got the ball back again now. With uh, R9, played back from Mbappe, can't get the shot away. These are crucial, crucial moments in the game because at 3 0, I don't think there's a way back for uh, Saranj. And uh, Dukwa will be hoping now to see this out at half time with that two goal cushion at least intact. Look again. Trying to create that initial chance. I think it's going to come down to that 45th minute opportunity. I still have this feeling, Azim, that there's one more goal at least left in this half itself. If it goes down to Chennai in a CM Saran shall set them up for a beautiful comeback in that second half. But if it goes down to Dugal, surely it's all huh? but over. Van der Sar, a little <laughs> theatric there in his <laughs> way, the way he wanted to clear the ball. But I think the nerves clearly showing for the players as well as Dugal because this win would be huge. Once again, on the counter, showing a lot of holes in Saranjo's defence. Yeah, and you have to say, I don't know, has Van der Sar been nerfed in the last uh, week or so? Because we've seen a lot of, particularly even in uh, the game between Naveen and Shubham, a lot of uh, shots hit straight at the keeper, which just hit the keeper and bounced. And this is a big opportunity for Saranj. Surely a goal this time. And you were absolutely right there. See it. 2-1 it is. Looked like an offside trap went horribly, horribly wrong for Dugal. 
and Saranj is not going to miss up an opportunity. You can see he is absolutely in beast mode now. He knows he wants to get this uh, win, or at least to get a draw and just uh, get that job done because if you take it to the jeopardy of Game 3, I mean, anything can happen. Oh, absolutely. Game 3 can mean anything can happen and because it's because everything on the line in that uh, crucial moment. But halftime done, 2-1 on the board. Shubham with some key words of advice to help Dugal secure this lead right now. But getting a win against Saranj, well, for Dugal that would be a huge boost in momentum. And this is where it all started off. A simple long ball with a simple pass into the box. Mbappe slotting it home. But this was what I found really special. Just very quick on those passes across the board. Got that one-two punch with both of those goals coming back to back. Yeah, and of course, couldn't quite hold on. Let's have a look to see over here. Yep, it was the offside trap that he got completely yeah. wrong. Just played it a little too uh, too late uh, and uh, played it as the ball had been uh, had been passed to R9 over there. And uh, yeah, it looks uh, comical. That's usually how I get my offside traps uh, wrong and uh, concede goals. It's very, very hard to get it right. And these guys, most times, uh, do manage to, uh, to get the offside trap absolutely bang on. Uh, I think in, in terms of national teams, probably in the game, it looks like sort of the Japanese national team in the last uh, World Cup where they were excellent at just all jumping together in a almost a video game-like manner. Uh, you could see that Google trying to queue up that meta finish, but uh, he starts the, the second half on the front foot and he will be looking to uh, reinstate that two-goal lead. And now with Cancelo at the edge of the area, you know what? I Yeah, I was exactly going to suggest you take that shot because Cancelo is actually pretty decent from long range. Yeah, I mean, he's got a killer left foot and demonstrating exactly that. But this corner, it's got to translate into more pressure for Dugal. He goes for a direct one. It's very, very surprising, honestly, because we rarely ever see that. And that is usually the reason uh, most keepers at this level are very deft at picking up the ball and it opens up a very direct counter-attack through that keeper clearing out the ball right now that counter-attack for Saranj a key tackle though does slow it down and now Saranj is going to have to uh, rebuild his attack by looking for a way in oh wow he's got it he's got the job done there Saranj big big moment over there and of course you can see uh, Dugal just uh, feeling a little bit crestfallen and you can see now the importance of having the third goal uh, in the first half because you always know Saranj, particularly in that second half, he really comes in strong, he comes in clutch. Uh, it is still uh, at the moment uh, all to play for, of course, uh, which, uh, it does mean that Chennai and FC, with this current result, would get the one point that they need yeah. to assure themselves qualification into the top four. So, Dugal still needs to find a goal and now I wonder if the tables are going to reverse. I wonder if Saranj will try to go a little bit conservative now. Will or will he uh, keep going? I think he should just keep going the way he's, uh, he's, he's approached the second half attack. Is the best form of defence for Saranj over here. Uh, because uh, although that's a cheap giveaway and now pretty exposed at the back as he finds Mbappe. A good first touch. Gets away from Ruben Diaz. Oh my goodness, how is that not a foul? <laughs> that's a question I'm left uh, thinking about many a times in my own matches. Uh, such is FIFA, you know, she's a cruel mistress. She rarely ever gives you what you want. But right now, like we talked about, what Saranj and Chennai NFC really want is for this match to end as it is. And to do that, a goal, it would go a long way because at the very least, it make it almost impossible for him to lose given the time frame available. He's trying to do exactly that oh. very well work to create the space. But the shot goes slightly wide. Doesn't matter though. Again, like you said, Azim, a 2-2 here secures, effectively secures their spot in the top four because it guarantees them at least one point from the co-op, uh, irrespective of what result it is. And a 2-2 here, very much favourable for Chennai NFC and Saranj right now. So it's up to Dugal to try and make something happen. I'm sure he can hear V Sharma in the back of his head. He's like, bro, come on, you got to do this for us. Yeah, and looks for that ball to Mbappe. Couldn't quite get it, but still does find Mbappe over there. Had the opportunity to play in Bellingham, decided not to take it. He will use him now. And now has R9 in there as well. Needs to beat that last man. He's beaten the offside trap, but can't get the shot away. Saranj getting a toe. Well, not even getting a toe onto the ball over there. And, uh, well, that was one of those uh, heart attack uh, goal kicks. Uh, you'd have to say all of us have had those where you just quickly press uh, press X after a, after a goal kick and suddenly you realize, oh, hello, there's a striker there. Uh, but this, again, big opportunity. Dugal is not done yet. I still do feel that there is another goal for Dugal in this game. And Saranj 
I think now may want to just uh, shut up shop and try and see this out. I think anything is possible right now in this game, especially with these players starting to loosen up a little, I'd say, towards that defensive half as both of them are starting to really feel their palms getting sweaty. You know, they're trying to ensure that, for of course, for Dugal, he gets another goal while Saran just trying to make sure nothing changes from here. And oh. out, but Dugal working himself into a beautiful spot. That fake was exquisite as he was able to get off the shot, but just not able to get it in. Czech just holding on for dear life for Chennai NFC. Yeah, you could see that little scoop turn fake uh, from uh, from Dugal, and uh, yeah, I think we may see Saranj go four two three one now, and uh, just try to see it out, or maybe do the four two 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 to just hold it out. It is, of course, we did see in Shubham sweep of in a series. That's uh, one of the <clears throat> the best uh, formations to hold on to a lead because you're pretty much sitting there with two uh, central defensive midfielders who are not uh, getting involved in the attack. It's a pressure situation. The palms are sweaty. And uh, let's see what substitutions have been made. It's Pele in for CR7 for Saraj. Messi in for Eusebio. And a short corner this time played by Dugal. Gets the ball in. It was Diaz on Diaz action. It's Cruyff on for Pele uh, for, uh, for Orisha FC. And now, will Saranj show any mercy over here? Will he just try to get this done immediately? He finds R9. This is it. You don't expect Saranj to miss from here. And he absolutely does not. That, I think, is the three points in the bag, not just the one, because Dugal, well, he's going to be really, really crest fallen right now. 100%. I think it really will mean that despite the strong start of Odisha FC in this matchup, Saranj, the seasoned professional, able to hold on, make sure he's able to pull it off and ensure three points in the bag the way it it is going for the side of Chennai NFC, but we'll see Dugal looked quite ruthless in just a matter of minutes in the first half. I'm sure he can do it again. Does have the time. If he's able to start off on this kickoff on a strong note, I'm sure he can try to push for a comeback. Yeah, well, the time is definitely running out for uh, for Dugal over here. He needs to grab those, uh, those two goals and uh, you, you can see Saranj over there. I think just uh, shaking off that that first 30-40 uh, minutes saying, oh my god, what happened? That was just a blip. And coming back really, really strong to get three goals of his own. And now, I think it's probably going to be all-out attack from Dugal. He's, he's got nothing to lose. He may as well just try to make Saranj's life uncomfortable, uh, force him to just sit back and defend. But of course, uh, he will be a bit exposed on that uh, counter-attack as well. Now with Cruyff, uh, didn't really need to leave that ball. And now Saranj finds that ball in. 2R9, the first touch, all important, gets it right this time. Has Messi available? Will he go for that long range shot? Oh no, he finds Pele. This is beautiful from Saranj, but Manu will keep a movement over there, covering the near post. And now, if he looks to that left flank, he'll find Kulit in acres of space, but he's looked straight through to Neymar, and it's back in its level again. Oh. And hang on, it's not over yet. Boy, oh boy, you can see Saranj uh, with a look which tells you everything really about what he's feeling which is the simple fact that man he cannot afford this to run away from him a huge comeback he is able to pull off even take the lead but 3-3 on the board right now as Dugal is pushing back strong 10 minutes to go on the clock and it all comes down to possession and time management making sure you're composed making sure that you're not giving away those free giveaways making sure that you're holding on to the ball as much as you can while not losing your focus or concentration Saranj looking to do exactly that as he creates a chance and I don't think right now he can afford to play for the 98th minute mark. Rather, needs to just go for the aggressive push and make sure he's not exposed on the counter. Yeah, although it would be tempting if he's given the ball away and now it's 2v1, 3v1 over there. Well, it was for just a brief moment uh, before Saranj's defenders came absolutely storming back. But uh, there we go. This is it. Ah, ooh, had the opportunity to play Mbappe. The ball does reach Mbappe. It's Neymar now. 1v1. It's got Cruyff in there. Can't find the ball through to him. And is that the last chance gone? Because Saran surely now will just try to see this out. Uh, you can't really try to put too much pressure on the ball if you're Dugal as well because you're just going to leave yourself exposed. Looking for that manual pass to Saran. This time with Pele. Gets the shot away. There will be another chance for Dugal. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, 90th minute chance can always be oh so game changing and right now a couple minutes of overtime is the game itself giving us a few more minutes to witness this action 
It's Lugal trying to set it up. Dukul it with a huge bridge. Gets the ball oh, into oh, the back oh, of the net. Oh, it's Dukul pulls it back against all odds. A win for Odisha FC effectively guaranteed. And Saranj with his hands left to just console himself at this point. Beautifully done by Dugal at that bridge. <laughs> wow. Oh my goodness me, what have we just seen here? If ever there was a Terra Virtua super moment of the match, it was that right there. What a clutch play from Dugal. He is keeping everyone right on their toes. He is keeping this top four battle alive. What a game we've seen over here. 4 3 after going 2 0 up, then 3 2 down and coming back. Brilliant display from Dukal and again, it is dead level going into Game 3 and oh my goodness, Odisha FC look like they're feeling it now. Uh, they most certainly are and they're going to be feeling the confidence going into the co-op as well because remember last time around, it was the win against Naveen, the draw for Saranj and then they drew in the co-op to make sure that Odisha was able to get the points. It came down to the final match, is my point, and once again, it's gonna happen. But what an absolute fest it has been for us neutral observers. First two games already with 12 goals on the board. That's exactly what you want to see. Oh yeah, that's uh, that's good. And uh, well, the one thing that will work in Chennai NFC's favor, of course, is that five uh, goal uh, win for Naveen uh, increases their goal difference to five more than Bengaluru FC. Yep. Uh, well, with the loss, it becomes four more. So. Uh, it uh, if they do end up losing this game, uh, it will give them just a little bit more buffer because if Bangalore FC are to overtake Chennai, uh, it will be on goal difference. So these are all the factors we have to keep in mind going into these uh, these last few uh, moments uh, and uh, well days of the of the league stages. It's really really been uh, special to behold, particularly over here. It looked like it was just a foregone conclusion after a while for Saraj to just see it out. But Tuggal coming up, bringing out those big guns and getting the win at the end. It was brilliant to watch. And it really tells you that every single moment is important. Every single chance is critical. The way you're playing throughout the match can define your uh, status in this tournament, especially for someone like Chennai NFC. And for Odisha, of course, it gives a huge boost of momentum. And personally, for Tuggal, it also reminds players that this guy has got a lot of skill. So, of course, uh, shout out to him. I think it'll be really interesting seeing him grow as a streamer later after the EISL and I'm excited to see that but right now all of my excitement is reserved for the co-op Azim. 1-1 one, one in this set going into the co-op, both the teams with everything on the line. Oh yeah, absolutely. And I, I actually didn't notice the little back heel pass that Tugal made uh, over there uh, in the back of like in his own box going back uh, with Bellingham. We thought at this point that maybe that one goal conceded would have uh, would have really really changed the flow of the game, and you would have been right to think that because uh, Saraj did manage to then take the lead. But uh, after that, it was just uh, well something we were not expecting at all. Two goals in the last ten minutes from Dukal really turned the game on its head, and now with game three, I mean I, I just I don't know what to expect. The momentum is surely with Odisha FC, but Chennai FC definitely the better co-op unit. And uh, yeah, it's, it's just no way to predict what's going to happen. Oh yeah, I, I'm not even going to bother trying. I'm just going to enjoy myself as both of these teams give us their very best and look to pull off the win and the three points in this matchup. Again, very important point to note and remember is that if this ends up being a draw, the way it was the first time these teams met in the co-op, it will favor uh, Chennai and FC, as all they really need is that point on the board to try and make it happen. But, but if Dugal is able to lend a bit of his form that he found in this matchup to Shubham, and if together they're able to take down Chennai and FC, then, well, I think, of course, they will be celebrating, but so will FC Goa and Bengaluru FC, as Chennai and FC will drop three critical points. I yeah, absolutely loved the composure that uh, Dugal showed over there, not just with Hullet for the bridge, but also. Uh, with Neymar just waiting and you can see Shubham saying, okay, see it out, see it out, it's done. And uh, even Saranj, I think, saying, yeah, you're looking across saying, good goal. And wow, XG of 5 to 3.5. Uh, so, yeah, very, very entertaining game. And uh, I'm sure uh, everyone's enjoying it. And if you are enjoying it, please remember to uh, smash that like button on whichever channel you're watching uh, this broadcast. Also, let us know in the, in the chat what your predictions are for Game 3. 
it's uh, going to be very very uh, feisty very kudge uh, very kg but of course uh, for all of those uh, of you who are interested of course in the nft ecosystem and of course the hero isl terror virtual of course is an entertainment based metaverse platform where you can get training card animated mascots all that fun stuff so check it out A chance for you to really, as the promise, I come closer to the hero, hero ISL with those special moments. Uh, grab a memento, really, and intrinsically, of course, have it connected to you, which is the best part about it. But now we're ready for the EISL co-op game between Odisha FC and Chennai FC. I can see Azim is already getting himself very excited. So a start off there, Azim. What are we expecting from uh, Odisha FC particularly? Because Shubham got smashed, but Dugal found a convincing victory. So how do they balance out these uh, radically different uh, feelings that they've got from their individual matches? So I think, uh, you know, the, the kind of player that Shubham is, if he goes uh, down in the match uh, very early on, like if he's two goals down, he sort of tends to lose the motivation. But now he'll got, he will have got his motivation right back uh, because we're dead level again. It's a fresh start. It's a clean slate. And going into the co-op, you can see the intensity from the Odisha FC boys. Chobam fixing his hair as well uh, to uh, to get into the mood, get into the zone. And uh, yeah, he's got his mojo back. Of course, uh, like borrowing uh, that momentum, riding the same wave of uh, positivity after his uh, teammate got that result. And for Chennai and FC, will it be the other way? Is it the momentum swinging against them? You can see uh, Naveen can afford a smile, but Saranj, you know, he does not like to lose and uh, he's going to really want to put things right. So, just no way to know how this is all going to pan out. And uh, it's it's very intense. And there we go. Kickoff is finally here. The kickoff is here and heavy anticipation for me. And of course, I assume for you as well. And all of the uh, neutral fans in the chat and of course, all of the FC Goa fans, all of the Bengaluru FC fans. But on the other hand, the Chennai and FC fans, they're going to be potentially biting their teeth because they've seen this matchup once before, Azim. They're going to be hoping it at the very least ends out the way it did before. A draw would help Chennai and FC out a lot. But if Dogal is able to help Shubham get that initial goal, if Odisha FC is able to pick up that initial touch, then I think they will be able to go all the way. For now, though, uh, just a simple offside and Chennai and FC will be able to build up there. Yeah, Chennai and FC, of course, sitting on 34 points right now. Uh, Bengaluru FC uh, sitting on 25 with three games to play. So, of course, mathematically, uh, the maximum that uh, Bengaluru FC can get uh, is, of course, just nine points. So, they are really, really putting all their hopes on Odisha FC uh, first. And then, if it comes down to it, Northeast United FC later on. Uh, but, of course, that does depend on them beating uh, Hyderabad uh, later on today. But now, focused on this game, all the permutations and combinations just uh, will keep going on. And Odisha FC, uh, looking positive at the beginning. I'm sure Chennai and FC, they will be a little bit cautious going into this game. But of course, you can't be too cautious uh, because it's just one of those. If you don't you know, commit entirely to it and you sort of play half-heartedly, uh, it's very, very easy for the opposition to just find and pick up those gaps. You really have to play, f it, particularly FIFA 22. Uh, it rewards you for sort of playing full tilt and full tilt is Chennai and FC and a horrible miss over there. It's a block and Duka celebrates it, but a corner early on for Chennai and FC. Early pressure from both of these teams, but it is Chennai and FC right now creating them chances. Ronaldo on the edge of the box. I thought he might go for the finish. Instead, he runs through the defense and runs through a bit too much. A second of hesitation. If the pass could have been found, maybe even the shot could have resulted in a rebound. But it's going to mean nothing. But that's okay. They have the ball once again. It is Ronaldo seven in the box trying to create something. Ronaldo to Ronaldo, but just not enough space for a shot. Yeah, and it, I think it's uh, that's that's a case of what I just mentioned earlier. Like if you try to play it a little too cautious, that just that little hesitation uh, can uh, can just allow your opposition back, and you really have to go hard and be very very. Uh, just trust your instincts uh, as much as possible. Uh, play sort of the way Naveen was playing in that first half, the way we've seen uh, guys like Ankit play. 
uh, for most of the of the EISL. Uh, and uh, I think Odisha FC doing the right thing now, just trying to deny Chennai and FC the ball. Uh, because, I mean, Chennai won't be pressing too aggressively, considering they know that if it ends nil-nil, uh, their job is done. So, I don't think Chennai is going to go chasing this game unless they go a goal down. And, I mean, just as a neutral, we would all love to see that. It's just Odisha FC, surely too far out for that. But what forces the save from Van der Sar? And it's a corner to Odisha FC. Yeah, I think that might have been Dukal. He got a sneaky smirk on his face as well. He seems to be feeling himself today. Just going for the instinctive plays, the instinctive shots and finding success more often than not. But still, 0-0 on the board. And Chennai NFC on the counter. The ball a second too early. And that does mean a recovered back for Odisha FC as they uh, persevere on the counter. Oh, Yeah, you know what? In a, in a 1v1 game, that would probably have been a goal. It's just the fact that in co-op, you can defend uh, two players uh, separately and sort of with that level of immediacy of uh, moving the players to, to their markers. So, uh, didn't quite work there, but a very cheap giveaway from Odisha FC. And now, Hullet got the job done for one team. Can he now turn traitor and get the job done for Chennai and FC? Only time will tell. Odisha doing a reasonable job defensively so far. But again, that, that right channel is looking a bit of a problem spot for them. They get away with it this time. And now, it's 3v3 on that counter-attack. It's down to those individual decisions now. Can you make the right call? It is the right call to play in Mbappe. And he is in. Shortly, it's into the top corner. And Odisha FC have the lead. And as it stands, Chennai and FC are not qualified for that top four spot. Boy, oh boy. The temperature is picking up. And at this point, uh, I think for both of the team, it is just going to come down to the simple fact that Odisha FC, they're feeling themselves, as in, despite that 5-0 initial loss, despite the second game going down for the uh, going out for the to the wire, it is coming down to just that instinct reaction, that fact that even though Naveen might not have been feeling the pressure, it certainly seemed like after the initial two goals of Dugal Saranj was, and now both of them are feeling the pressure, going down one goal in this co-op as Odisha FC, they're all guns blazing, going for the win throughout. Let's see if Chennai can find an answer. Yeah. Well, very composed at the back over there, uh, making the right decisions, uh, using the goalkeeper as well, getting a uh, uh, pretty good job. And now the counter is on over there with CR7 going for that, takes the heavy touch, needs somebody at that back post for the cross, decides not to cross, very composed on the ball again over there, trying to turn through. I think the better option might have been the pass back to Hullet, but the, the ball is now lost and Chennai and FC will come back again. And I do think it is crucial for Odisha FC to hang on before halftime, but they've won the ball back. They could double their lead. Oh, what a shot! And saved! And saved! Check certainly keeping Odisha FC in check because they are feeling themselves, <laughs> man. They are in full power. Look at this. They might see a corner routine. A couple of manual runs were shown, but none selected just yet. There's going to be the corner taker changed. Pele going to go for the ball. I think they're just trying to decide what they want to go for. Uh, near post execute, it does seem like, and able to get the ball to Ronaldo, but not the shot itself, but still recovered once again on the counter. A bit of a, a scuffle in that midfield did mean that even though it was Odisha who recovered the ball, it's Chennai on the counter now looking to get back one goal in the back, but they slow down for a second. That's all the time Odisha needs to recover their defense, <laughs> and apparently the ball as well is just pinball right now. Both teams giving it to each other. Yeah, there you go. Given away again. Crucial now for Orisha FC to hang on to this lead uh, before half time and really let Chennai and FC stew over the fact that they are a goal down in this crunch, crunch game. And uh, will we see something different from uh, Chennai? And will we see a shot taken from an odd angle going for the cutback? Gets the job done. And there you can see the butterflies on that Orisha FC bench. Taking that, uh, taking the time with the goalkeeper and just playing it out long, and I'm sure that's going to be half time. There you go, halfway there, Odisha FC, halfway to getting a famous, famous victory over Chennai and FC. We're going to be talking about this for months and years to come if they do manage to hang on. Really, one of the most iconic matches we've seen so far in the EISL. And there you go, that one big goal could it be the difference? One goal is all that matters. You can see Saranj just 
you can see that tension really in his face you know you can see the fact that he's feeling the pressure and after a 5-0 victory from his teammate you you'd have thought that for him of course it's going to have to be in his head that he's going to be able to secure that win and not even let the co-op matter but right now just not able to do so and maybe you start wondering is uh, Odisha FC's playstyle itself a kryptonite for Saranj because even last time around against Shibam it was a 1-1 draw and then the co-op they were not able to secure the win. It never looks this cagey for Chennai FC in general. So Odisha FC certainly have got that in the back. They've got the right tool to break down Chennai FC and they're doing it spectacularly so far. For a 2-0 lead Dugal had in his first half, that evaporated quickly. A 1-0 lead most definitely can. So they're going to have to make sure they don't give away any free chances. Yeah, but I, I think Odisha FC might find themselves in the same position that Chennai and FC were in that first half where they're trying to be that little bit uh, too cautious. They have to keep trying to attack. You have to keep uh, Saranj and Naveen on that back foot throughout if you keep trying to just hold on to possession. But wait, the, the lane just opened up and they decided not to take the chance over there. The ball will come back to hold it and again. But uh, the ball now changes hands for Chennai and FC. A big opportunity there. For Odisha FC, it just seemed to split like uh, Moses and the Red Sea. There was acres of space to run in, but well, that gap just shut a little bit too quickly. And now, as we are about seven or eight mi minutes into that first half, how is this game going to end up? Because it's one goal that could potentially define Chennai and FC's season right here. Yeah, one single goal could uh, mean all the difference, and at this point, it could also mean. Oh no. It could mean all the difference with respect to which team is able to get it through. I think uh, definitely, again, we have to highlight Davi Sharma, uh, Afnan and Saugnik and Varsi are going to be looking at this with rapt attention as they hope Chennai and FC stumbles. They hope that the status quo is maintained and they hope Chennai and FC lose all three points. But on that same note, Odisha FC, for them, it's not about the other teams. It's not about Chennai. It's all about just securing the end of their EISL on a brilliant note. And so far, so good. Even this attack oh. shut down could have been a cheap giveaway, but it's just lady luck uh, kind of on the side of Odisha FC. I mean, they always do say you work hard, the luck helps you out and it certainly seems like that is what is happening for Odisha. Yeah, but very careless in uh, possession over there, a very cheap giveaway and you can see the nerves definitely showing uh, for Odisha FC as well now because they're going to be absolutely under the cosh for these last uh, 30 minutes. It's going to be, have to be Rear guard action and counter attack like they've never done it before. And Chennai and FC, you know, they're going to be attacking as much as they can now. The 1v1, the isolation from one Ronaldo to the other, twisting, turning. Marquinhos there with the block. Great last ditch defending again from Odisha FC. That's something that they've generally been good at. Uh, defensively, it's not been that much of a problem for them, but on attack, need that composure. 25 minutes to go, a pause queued, and I think. Uh, Odisha FC definitely need that. I think just need to, uh, well, get the breath back, get some water in, rub those palms off, and whew, what a what a great last twenty minutes we have in prospect. Yeah, I'm just uh, rubbing my hands in anticipation. I'm feeling extremely excited. And you can see Naveen still he will trying to I think motivate Shalansh to a large extent. Be like, we got this. We just got to push through. We just got to find one goal, really. But you can see Saranj, he's feeling that pressure most definitely. And Naveen trying to detail out some instructions for them to carry out. One single attack, one single opportunity is all they need. But right now, Odisha is denying them on all fronts. Odisha is playing absolutely phenomenally as they look to secure this win for themselves. Get three points in the bag and boy oh boy, what that would mean to them <laughs> after losing 5-0 could be absolutely phenomenal now. A scuffed pass, that's okay, recovered from Ronaldo, but instantly given away. It is Chennai now on the counter, Ronaldo with a huge run, but Messi chooses not to find him instead, electing to go back and build up the play from there. But the cheap giveaway now, and there have been a lot of these from Chennai and FC, and really, Odisha FC need to make one of these count again. They've had three or four of these opportunities now, uh, and really need to capitalize. If they can get just the one, I think they would feel a little bit uh, more comfortable, a little bit more uh, confident about seeing this out. But at 1-0, Chennai and FC, you would still say, are just about the favourites to get that goal back because they are going to be throwing the kitchen sink at Odisha FC. And on the counter-attack, Odisha now 
have to really make those chances count and again not quite able to do it although the steal from mbappe r7 and r9 waiting inside that box but the cross does not come in and it's going to go back the other way now with chennai and fc trying to build 15 minutes to go in game it's still 1-0 to odisha fc and let's remind viewers again that chennai and fc right now need a point to guarantee their their passage into uh, well into the top four otherwise this could well open the door uh, for bengaluru fc uh, to to knock them out but uh, here we go it is again a poor, a poor giveaway and uh, chennai and fc can't capitalize it's odisha fc coming forward again oh and look at this a nice ball set up down the ring for hakimi by ronaldo had a couple of options in the box, could have just run down and tried to get the cross in, but instead, Odisha playing it safe, looking for oh. the guaranteed opportunity in. Oh, barely could have found it right there, but unfortunately, it is offside and they will have to back off. Having said that though, once again, what is especially key is the simple fact that with just nine minutes left on the clock, the pressures will be ramping up on the Chennai NFC hands, but so same can be said for Odisha FC. A ball directly thrown into the box, oh my god! This is absolutely nail-biting stuff. I, I I can't bear to watch at times. And now Ooh. with Hullet, with Ronaldo, it's got to be cleared. And now a pathway for, yes, for Odisha FC to get forward. If they keep it in, just oh, needs nice. that ball through. It is played through. It is played through. Keeper comes out. Surely has to go for the chip. He doesn't. The ball will still fall to Odisha FC. What do they do now? It's offside and should have gone for the chip. And I think Shobham yeah. it was over there who decided to not go and there you can see again five minutes to go nails are being bitten <laughs> off over there <laughs> and oh my goodness it's absolute mayhem yeah and uh, at this point i think very important to know uh, maybe that little bit of hesitation on that finish came from shubham because of that 5-0 victory uh, that naveen was able to secure you know uh, like naveen said this is not shubham in his prime form we've definitely seen much more thrilling performances so it happens off days are made but that's where your power as a team is so damn important Dugal stepping up to the plate today they've helped each other out Dugal able to secure the individual victory and together in this co-op game they've got that lead and now trying to secure it but Messi runs away with it we've seen it so many times in real life uh, it will not work out in the EISL right now and time management is the name of the game for Odisha they'll just slow down for real life yeah, they put that ball out trying to find CR7 and now this is it. This is the final attack. We saw one 91st minute winner in game two. Will we see a potential 91st minute equalizer which could be as good as a win for Chennai and FC really? Let's see what they can do. It's running out of time. They still can't get that shot off. Now with Hullet, it has to be it. Last chance saloon needs to go in. It's CR7. It's the oh. ball. It's just blocked away. It is blocked away and that is done. That is the game. Wow. That is it. It is the win for Odisha FC. What a performance. <laughs> and you can see Dugal be like, oh, we won that. Oh, oh, he's just settling it to him now. He's like, bro, we won that. We got three points. And uh, the same for the case of Odisha, Chennai FC as well. They're just in shock. Naveen being like, how did we go from... 5-0 in the individual victory to losing all three points in this game at least could have secured a draw but just not able to happen odisha fc the kryptonite indeed of chennai and it seems like and at this point like odisha able to secure two out of two both of the matchups against chennai odisha have secured the win and chennai just not able to find the answers and it will mean an opportunity enabled for all of the teams below them to try and push back to cause a last minute upset in that top four. But still, a couple of opportunities left, I believe, for Chennai. Their destiny is still in their old hands. As long as they are able to recover from this loss appropriately, should be able to rally back in the next match. Yeah, well, they only have the one match left to play, and that is going to be against uh, a wounded Northeast United FC who have nothing to play for, really. But uh, they'll be bringing out all the big guns, the Ronaldinho's and the Maradona's for Mufu will all be out to play. But of course, all of this is still uh, contingent on the fact that uh, that FC, uh, that Bengaluru FC, uh, still need to win their match against Hyderabad today. So that's uh, going to be a very, very big high-pressure game. It's going to get them up potentially to 28 points if they manage to get the win. 
uh, with two games to spare. So uh, it's really, really ramping up. And you could see for Saranj, he would have thought that it was in the bag uh, when uh, Naveen got his win. But it all completely uh, changed over there. And what a brilliant defensive rear guard action uh, from uh, from Odisha FC as well. Yeah, uh, most definitely. And at this point, what is especially important is, like you said, that defensive resilience that Odisha FC was able to show again and again and again. It, it looked a bit of a scramble, to be honest, at some point. But at the same time, they were able to make sure that even through that scramble, they persevered, were able to pull out the win. And that win, that win is so damn important. Even in the break, we were talking about what would happen if Odisha is able to pick up the win. And I'm really excited to see the state of the leaderboard after this to figure out exactly yeah. where each team lies. Because like you said, only one game left for Chennai and FC, it could go either way. For now, yeah, let's And of course, yeah. Out. Yeah, final scores, have a look at that. 5-0, we thought, okay, that's it, that's job done. And Dugal pulled it out of nowhere in the last minute, that one goal and then the early goal for Odisha FC and then just seeing it out defensively for more than 70 minutes. A fabulous performance from them. And, uh, well, if there are any people in the chat who are making uh, memes, you could start with uh, Naveen's interview saying, oh, we're feeling no pressure and uh, then cutting... <laughs> to that uh, final moment over there. It's uh, one of those uh, how it started versus how it's going uh, meme templates. But uh, let's find out who the hero of the match is. A couple of candidates, but I think there could only be one. Oh, yeah. Yes, it is. Uh, Dugal TV scoring all the goals for Orisha FC in uh, probably one of the uh, most inspiring individual performances we've seen in the EISL uh, since the beginning. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it's been an inspiring journey, I'd say, for Dugal, especially with uh, what you mentioned, which is the fact that he's going to look to transition into being a regular streamer, uh, show off his skills in a more prolific fashion and couldn't have done it better today, you know, and really make his name known, remind everyone that, hey, might have had a rocky start to the season, but I'm still here. I'm still here to end it off with a bang and he does so in amazing fashion to upset the hopes and dreams of the Chennai NFC players as well as the squad and you could see continuously, I feel like the reactions were Saran throughout the map. He was getting closer and closer through this to the screen and I think that's the mark of the gamer uh, starting to fall into trouble because as you feel the pressure, your face just gets closer to the screen. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, several memes have been made about that, but have a look at that. The composure to go for that bridge in between two players and uh, well, then just smash that. Hullet, of course, has proved to be the, the big game player for a lot of these guys. And again, over here, the, the ability to just uh, do that little ball roll, that little fake, the little change of direction. And uh, well, it's time for now the Terra Virtua moment of the match. There can only be one, guys. There can only be one Terra Virtua moment of the match. And it came from here. Three all. Saranj shot blocked on the line. And then the counter attack from Dugal, which was the counter attack of dreams, really. Yeah, and I believe this was, yes, this, if, yeah, this was that. Great setup for Gulit. So he's gonna end up distributing the ball towards the left side and then set himself up for success right here on the edge of the box. The ball found for Neymar and ay 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 that nifty piece of skill just done perfectly for Dugal right there on the weak foot foot of Gulit. Nonetheless, slices the ball into the top corner and breathes a heavy sigh of relief. My, very deserving of that Terra Virtua super moment of the match. Yes, and well might uh, the V-Flag dance over there because that was oh, that was something special. And I, I do think we'll have a look at the, the leaderboard in uh, just a little bit. And yeah, there we go, the leaderboard. Let's see how that impacts things. <clears throat> Odisha FC, I don't think their uh, star points have been updated. They'll be disappointed that they're still sitting on 17 points. They're actually on 20 points, so they would have leapfrogged uh, Hyderabad FC right now. And uh, Chennai and FC. Uh, now uh, we'll be sitting on uh, well the same uh, same number of points. Uh, actually, no. Uh, Chennai and FC. The the production team has awarded the points to Chennai and FC. Uh, so guys, sorry Odisha, uh, our team has decided that you didn't win that match. Uh, nobody will ever believe you. Where is the evidence? But uh, no, it is actually uh, Odisha FC now up a place, and uh, Chennai and FC with just a game to go. And uh, it does uh, seem that we have Dugal. Waiting to have a chat with us, and we are really, really looking forward to this. 
ओ डुगल मेरे भाई हीरो ऑफ द मैच दे दिया यू आर हीरो ऑफ द टूर्नामेंट यार व्हाट अ परफॉर्मेंस दिस वाज दिस टू गुड थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच रियली फीलिंग प्राउड टुडे गुड गेम फ्रॉम माय साइड बहुत ही अच्छा खेला आपने इवन टुवर्ड्स द एंड ऑफ योर इंडिविजुअल मैच यू कुड सी एक राहत की सांस ले यू टुक अ साइ ऑफ रिलीफ यू नो ऑलवेज लाइक होल्डिंग इट इन सो टॉक टू मी अबाउट दैट सरांज के सामने खेल रहे थे 2-0 लीड अप व्हेन यू गॉट द कमबैक हैपेंड एंड ही टुक द लीड व्हाट वाज गोइंग थ्रू योर माइंड तो सॉल ड्रामा फुल पूरा गेम ही ड्रामा था बहुत सारांश सारांश से 2-0 लीड लेने के बाद उसने जो प्रेस किया था वो बहुत ही अच्छा प्रेस था एंड उसके बाद थोड़ा लाइक आई कंसीडर्ड अ गोल ऑन द 80th मिनट आई गेस तो 3-2 था देन उधर से कमबैक करना इज अ स्टोरी मतलब बहुत ही अच्छा था आई केप्ट माय कंपोजर टुडे आई एम रियली प्राउड ऑफ दैट या या एंड पर्टिकुलरली वो जो लास्ट गोल था द कंपोजर यू शॉट पहले नेमार के साथ क्रिएटिंग द स्पेस देन विद होलेट फिर वो ब्रिज के साथ वीकर फुट पे फिनिश दैट वाज इज दैट वन ऑफ द बेस्ट गोल्स यू एवर स्कोर्ड या या डेफिनेटली like fully composed bahut acha tha and be, i've been practicing that so i it worked today perfectly yeah yeah clearly it worked today but uh, and finally the co-op game also bahut zyada heart attack towards the end so uh, <laughs> what was happening there कोप गेम में मतलब वी नो कि दे आर दे आर अ वेरी गुड साइड तो हम लोग को बस वही था कि वी गॉट द विन वी वेर रियली पम्प्ड अप आफ्टर दैट सो वो मोटिवेशन आ रहा था एंड शुभम को भी अच्छा मोटिवेट हो गया था कि चलो लेट्स गो एंड विन फॉर इट सो वही कंपोज में अच्छा था एंड शुभम प्ले रियली वेर इन द कोप सो वो चल गया अच्छा है या Well, well, uh, आप लोग दोनों बहुत ही अच्छा खेले एंड आई होप यू एबल टू कंटिन्यू दिस मोमेंटम फॉर द रेस्ट ऑफ द लीग स्टेज मैचेस ताकि आपका ईआईएसएल एक uh, शानदार नोट पे एंड होए यू नो बट फॉर नाउ कंग्रेचुलेशन ऑन द विन एंड द हीरो ऑफ द मैच विल बी लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड टू सीइंग यू लेटर थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच गाइस थैंक यू there you have it it is uh, dugal.tv remember the name guys head over to twitch or wherever uh, dugal's uh, platforms are and follow right away but we do have the updated leaderboard now and uh, well let's uh, find out odisha fc have finally been awarded their points sitting now potentially uh, in quest of 7th uh, place which might be a pretty decent recovery for them yeah uh, odisha fc uh, like you said for them it is about just finishing as high as they can and taking down a couple of teams in the no a very important as well they do that for the individual moments going forward but for now we have something special chance to collect your favorite hero isl moments that's always special but i'll tell you what else is special this entire platform itself and we have a few key partners to thank for that so uh, reminding you of course the eisl it is powered by coca cola with hero as our associate sponsor norwin gaming as our esports partner playstation as our platform partner and terra virtua as our digital collectibles partner What an exciting start it has been to today's uh, match day so far with Odisha FC taking down Chennai NFC but don't you worry we've got a lot more action lined up along the line so grab yourself some snacks get settled in and we'll be back in a jiffy